are here with Mary after week two. Now you're just talking about how emotional it was to go through that process. From a judge's standpoint and being so surrounded by So You Think You Can Dance for a very long time, what was that like? Well, you know, um, being here since the beginning, you would think sometimes that it would get easier when you have to say goodbye to people. And, and it's, the fact is, it's just not. You know, we're only human. And uh, um, I was definitely the one person that was holding out for Stephanie. Uh, it was three against one. And I just think that th she hasn't taken a wrong step. Uh, especially in this live show so um, you know sometimes when you're more at the top I think sometimes you kind of you know your growth level doesn't go anywhere because you're just kind of great and everything <laughs> and you know that kind of uh, people kind of uh, go more towards the underdog and mm -hmm. I think that's what happened here tonight I think Anna is uh, growing uh, at a much higher rate because let's face it every single time she's outside her style this Absolutely. this cannot be easy on her and I've told her tonight to just stick with it it's not easy on your head you always have those people that other side of your brain saying I can't do that oh my god what I get myself into um, I said just you know give yourself to the choreographer and believe in them and keep telling yourself I can do this I can do this because it must be incredibly difficult for her and Nigel mentioned that it's hard because you know you guys haven't spent so much time with these people it's week two of the live shows what are you basing these decisions off of and I know you voted differently well, than the other judges well, really, we're, we're basing it off of, um, for me, it's from the very first second we saw you. I, we tend to go back, and when it gets more difficult and more difficult, uh, we go back and think about their whole journey. Did anybody have a little a trip, you know, and things like that. Uh, um, so I look at everything. And the stamina for the dancers in this competition emotionally takes a toll on them. So can you explain oh, yeah. from your perspective what it's like, yeah. not only physically? Shoot, it takes an emotional draining on the judges too. You know, I'm going to drive home to San Diego tonight. I might have to take a break on the way. I'm so exhausted by, emotionally exhausted because, uh, you know, I'm a professional dancer. I know I've had my dance career. I know how much it means to them. We haven't had something like this in my career. I never had to deal with what they're going through I get it I tried other dance genres and in six hours I said to myself would I get up on national television right. and do this hell no you know I had tons of lessons I can't even wrap my brain around those that have not had trained lessons at all or had choreography before you know people mm -hmm. that are freestylers I just do not get that and that's what they are stars they're extraordinary stars they're little diamonds in the rough and when you get they just didn't have the financial means or the way to get with a brilliant choreographer and they did and look what's happening you know it's crazy to me absolutely we're excited to still watch and uh, thank you so much for speaking uh-huh thank you